What's going on everybody? Today we have a very highly requested Razer keyboard lighting design. Do you want to know what it is? So the keyboard lighting design that we're going to do today is called Hacking the Matrix. It is also from Puff and Plukey's uh, top 15 keyboard lighting videos. I've already replicated several of the designs off of that video. If you guys like the design, in the description below there's going to be a Dropbox link. You guys can click on that link and you can download the Razer Snaps profile. I believe you have to have the same type of keyboard as me, the Razer Black Widow. If that link doesn't work for you, go ahead and keep following this video and you guys can see how to do it on your own keyboard. Before I get started, go ahead and hit that like button as well as the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you guys get a notification as soon as I upload my most recent content. All right, here we go guys. This is Hacking the Matrix. All right guys, here we go, Hacking the Matrix. So make sure you're starting off with a wave effect layer over here on the left and go ahead and highlight all of your keys. And you can even include your mouse if you have a razor mouse. Go ahead and click that color drop down. And we're going to choose a three tone pattern here. On the very far right, we're going to click on that node, drag down into the white. Make sure you drag this color over all the way to the left to brighten up your white. Just like that. Um, Close in the white with the middle node here with the green one a bit. Something like that. That is a little bit fast for me. I'm going to put it down to like 10. Uh, let's put it down to like 8. So now from here, all you have to do is change the speeds of each line. So we're just going to pick this top one. We're going to change the speed down to 7. Save, change the speed on this one to 10, save, change the speed on this one down to 6, save, change the speed on this middle one to 7, change the speed on this bottom line here to five so something else you can do to change the speed is I'm gonna cl click on this bottom line here and instead of changing the speed you can change the width percentage we can change that to like 90 percent and hit save that'll change the speed as well so I have my razor mouse lined up to the basic stock one and it's kind of in line with this top row so I'm gonna hit control C on that one and paste that exact code into this top one. That way it's traveling at the same speed as this line. I'm going to do the same thing for this bottom piece. I'm going to copy this code on the line, paste it in to my Razer logo on my mouse. That way it's in sync with that. Now the Hacking the Matrix design on the keyboard also has like a red pill, blue pill um, aspect to it as well. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. So um, I'm going to click on the escape button here, and this is going to be my red pill. I'm going to use a wave though. I'm going to stay in the wave, and I'm going to click on the color drop down just for this key, and I'm going to choose a two-tone wave. And I'm just going to choose uh, black on the left side, and on the right side I'm going to choose red. And I'm just going to kind of close them in here a little bit, just like that. And everything else can stay the same. I'm going to hit save. So now it kind of has like a red, red flash with some dark. So it'll like alternate red and black. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this red key, this red escape key. Just click on it and hit control C. 
Now make sure you click off of that key and you can paste that right here into the enter key, the bottom right. So we're just gonna paste that down there, just like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this enter key, click on the color gradient, make the left side blue, and we're gonna make the right side black, just like that. And we're gonna hit save. So now you can see you have a red key alternating red and black. You have a blue key alternating blue and black. And they're kind of just like opposite of each other. So like one is available at one time. And when that one's not available, the other one's available. So it's like red pill or blue pill. All right, if you guys want the red ripple effect that's also on this design, you can go ahead and on the lower left side, go ahead and click on ripple it'll add a new effect layer over here. You can select all the keys on your keyboard and go ahead and click that color drop down. And we're going to choose just a single color right here and make it a red. And what we can do is we can change the start to on selected keys. What this is going to do is it will only make the ripple effect when you click the keyboard buttons that are selected and it won't create an effect whenever my mouse is clicked. So now as you can see uh, I got no ripple effect from clicking my mouse but when I click on my keyboard I have a ripple effect. And it's as easy as that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. That way you guys know the minute I upload my next video. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.